battery pack goes in. These are the controls at the zoom in and out. That was the shutter. That was a battery voltage meter with a switch here just to read the voltage of the both of the battery packs but I found it wasn't necessary and sunlight makes this um, reading correctly anyway so we leave that out. A frame counter which would read the the uh, number of um, shots taken very handy and that's the reset button for it and that's power and this is the turn control that was camera down camera up camera left camera right okay well here we have the interior view of the of the um, platform the holding platform that's the the double rocker switch for zoom that's the shutter switch and I used I mounted a micro switch on the side of a plunger switch. I've got spares of those. That's the um, the counter. That's the meter, which is not really required. That's the power switch. Uh, that's the um, that's the switch for the battery pack readings, and that's the most important joystick switch. All right, now starting on the top left, that's the video amplifier that takes the video from from the uh, unbalanced to balanced circuit here, which uses a, a max max IC into the video amp here, and we have it can run three outputs. Two are only being used. One one goes out through the cable to the viewer the, with the hood, and the other goes down to this transmitter which I got from Rhino Electronics and that's the transmitter for the client's viewer and this main board are the regulators the 12 volt and 5 volt regulators okay so this is a blimp camera platform we've got a uh, Canon EOS 500N with a 20 to 35 mil zoom lens and it's very very handy you need the 20 mil uh, this side has has uh, the servo and some electronics and that was a speed for rotation but found to be not necessary um, this side has more electronics and then underneath the the zoom servo with the arm there which you can Unfortunately, I can't show it powered up, but if we do the final video in the field, you'll see it. And then up top is the, some more electronics and the connection for the cable from the ground. And this side has the connection for the cable. Well, this is the camera platform where the covers opened up. Now, this is the turn servo. So what we do is use a, a ball race and a copper copper penny and some rubber and the nylon uh, servo wheel that's all coupled through to give the turn and this is one of the speed controls we use what these are these are um, plus and minus voltage regulators that take the 12 to 14 volt and reduce it down to 3 to 4 volts 
to eliminate voltage drop on load and there's little pots in there to adjust the speed each way and then this side uh, in the back there is a super cap but that wasn't too successful I had to add a large electrode to, re to reduce the um, loss of picture on turn sometimes when the battery voltage got a little low and that's the wiring for the lead from the ground as I said it's probably best to put all the electronics up here all together because down here he's got very squeezy this is the converter for the um, balance to unbalanced video and we've got more voltage regulator uh, ICs there and so forth just a ball race on that side. I originally had a servo on that side but I found it wasn't necessary because the one servo could do it. Oh yeah, in here is just um, a universal joint from a small tool kit with a shaft welded top and bottom, a threaded shaft using nylon, nylon lock, lock nut there and a nut there and two nuts there so it doesn't come undone. That's a nearly it there oh, now, okay. you know? Okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. We can show the beach more by coming down more, but we'll... Or maybe come down a bit more, yes. Well, I'll get one of that, because I did... Actually, it's... Where's it gone? Uh, I might need to walk a little bit more that way in. Yeah. Or that way. Okay. Um, do you want to bring that? Just be careful. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Okay, let's stop it there.
Okay.